Hi, my name is Ann. I'm with the Texas Center, and today I have a little tip to share with you. When we're doing our C2O shims, our patients come in and we want to have the shims all done and ready. So what I have down here for you to see is all the materials. Um, we have our Buffalo tin foil roll. Uh, we have our Daylar sh sticky shim wax and a nice cup of steaming boiling water and a cord placing instrument. Nice little tray to put everything in that has a liner. That's really helpful to have a little liner in there because you can take the liner out and clean it off nicely in between when you're making new ones. So first step is to take your foil and cut a whole bunch of strips. And then you want to cut those strips into pieces about so big. Um, that's probably a, almost an inch, uh, pro approximately an inch. So um, you want to have your pieces all cut up. That way you don't have to sit there and cut every single time. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to just take your cord placing instrument, get it nice and hot, dunk it in your sticky shim wax, get a little bit out there, take one of your shims, place it right at the tip of that, and you're just going to place it onto your insert, just at the area where the wax is, kind of leaving a little tail hanging up so you can grab it easily. And you just continue that until you have them all made. And then whenever your patients come in to get their C2O shim done, you're set. If you'd like to learn more about the Texas Center, visit us at txcos.com. Have a great day.